It's 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 con. Yeah. It's con. <laughs> you gotta find out. It's shockingly bad. I'm telling you, other than other than and, and I was gonna say this is only one one thing that is um ultimately what could have destroyed an entire movie system mm -hmm. was uh, Francis Ford Coppola's kid acting in Godfather 3. You know when you you watch Godfather 3 though it's not as bad as you originally thought though. Because you forgave her. You think? You forgive you 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 the you movie itself her out. is is a lot better than the original thought. Yes. Too, man. Yes. A lot better. But we had a lot of expectations. Man, if, if I guess if like you didn't hire her uh, Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder was supposed to do it, I believe, but she was suffering from exhaustion from another film. I think she probably just didn't want to do it. Contact and Robert with Duvall probably should have tried to do it. Let's get some sleeping pills and get your sleep together. Well, I think she probably would. Got a chance to be in a Godfather movie? I'm down. Hey, did you see that seven pounds? Somebody, that's another one. Rob on Long Island. Did you guys see seven pounds? I did not see that. Some people say it was uh, very good. We got the speed clip that Patrice was talking oh, good. about. We were talking about Keanu Reeves and how he just sucks as an actor in, in everything. This, this like the movies me. have always been, have always like kind of carried him instead of him carrying a movie. There's actors that carry movies and then there's movies that just carry everybody in the cast. And I, I think he's one of those guys and you certainly agree, uh, Patrice. And you said his worst acting ever was a scene in Speed, 1994, when the bus uh, crashes into the baby carriage. They found the scene. Uh, it's really shocking. <laughs> you nailed it. Cans. The best acting in that clip <laughs> was by the cans. <laughs> they sounded like they were clanking and scattering. They were very good. I just couldn't. It, why, it why shocks are, me how bad that is. Why don't you look back at these blockbusters? You uh, see uh, horrendous acting. That movie was so big. But it was, it was like, like another twister thing happened with that movie. I didn't realize how bad the acting was. It was the doorway to speed, too, which was, really, which was good. Enemy in sight! <laughs> With Patrick, who's in that? Patrick, Kemalara oh, Morrison had a part in that. Oh, that poor guy. Who was in? Who starred in one of the best films ever, Once More Warriors? Dude, they took him. This is what good. This country is good for taking foreign, famous foreign actors with respect and turning them into fifth leading bums. Yes. They did it to him, and uh, they made him a fifth leading bum in that movie that Pamela Anderson was in. That awful barbed wire. Yes, she got a tattoo on her arm. Do, remember Bob Wire? Was he in that? Um, and they, and he, he was in the island of Dr. Moreau. Oh my God! And he, I just seen him in a bad sci-fi network movie. Mm -hmm. Ta Tamaru, ta what was his name? I, I think it's Tamara Morrison. Oh, oh, dude, you, you never seen Once Upon a Time? Uh, no. It's great. You got to see that movie. Oh, I'll, but, I'll put it on was, my list. He was like a big. He was like you know the Marlon Brando of uh, somewhere over there. Yeah. New Zealand, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, they, and they did the same thing to Chow Yun Fat. You notice how he wasn't going out like that. Chow Yun Fat, they he saw what they did with him, putting him with Mira Sorvino. He went, he just went back to China, good, and, and stayed respectable. You said hell no. Yeah, he did that. He did two movies. One with uh, Scott, whoever it was, the karate movie, and one with Mira Sorvino. And he just went back. Did home. he do replacement killers? Is that Chow Fat? That was Mary Sorino. Okay. But you know what? Chow Yun Fat doesn't speak the best English. He's lucky they gave him anything over here. Temuar Marston speaks perfect English. Chow Yun Fat speaks Chinese. What are we going to do with him? <laughs> well, we're, we're doing something. We're doing something with that squeaky voice, Jackie Chan. Yeah, but Jackie Chan speaks a lot better English than, than Chow Yun Fat, no, I think. No, no, no. No? No. Well, he's charming. He smiles. He kind of has a Pete Rose haircut. We like Jackie Chan. <laughs> I don't know. Chow Yun Fat did violent, vicious yeah, films. Yeah, he's, he's a serious dude. Oh, yeah. That's what they should keep him in, but they just always bump you down to bum. Just bump you down to just... They bump him down to Mira Sorvino's partner. Ugh. Uh, people want to defend Keanu Reeves. He was good in uh, Point Break. Oh, with Patrick Swayze? That's stunk. I, 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 I haven't seen that movie. Saying, somebody was good in Red Dawn. Like, it's just one it's of those been movies. too long. I don't, I don't remember his acting in that I can't. I just can't believe how bad uh, he is. Uh, let's go back to Dave in Boston. Uh, Dave, you got a piano Reeve line or something? 
My God, if you think the one uh, from Steel is bad, yeah. take a look at Little Buddha. My God, uh, Keanu Reeves trying to be a, uh, a God guy, and when he comes up with the line, you mean I'll die, you've got to find it. It is, yeah, let's try to find it is the, worst, the worst acting ever, ever. Okay, we'll try to find that one, too. It's about time he gets a beating. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't think of one movie where he was, he carried the movie just with his acting ability. Because like Jimmy brought up Devil's Advocate, I thought that was just an amazing movie. It didn't matter who who played his uh, right, his right. character. Danny, what do you got, Danny? Uh, this is something I found a while ago. It's it was before he was famous. He was doing like he was like reporting for I think it was like a college TV station. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, and uh, this is him doing some report about I think a teddy bear convention. When yeah. Going Great sent me to check out the first Canadian international teddy bear convention, I thought I was in for a lot of craziness. But then I met 13-year-old Grant. He thought he was in for a lot of craziness, Jimmy, at the teddy bear convention. How could you not? I mean, you know, that, that oh. sounded like a scene from Devil's Advocate. <laughs> This is his wife dying scene. This is exactly the same range of emotion. No, oh, I liked him in that one when he was trying to get mayor. I thought that was the down, best thing he's ever done in that scene. Yeah, he was very, he was very, uh, very believable in that scene. Is his wife cut her throat? <laughs> <laughs> no, no one's worse than Chris Lambert, but Keanu is, is very. I know the name. I don't know what he's done. Chris Lambert. He played Great Greystoke in The Legend of Tarzan. He played. Give me a picture of that guy. But then I met 13 year old Graham Abbey and his 53 bears and discovered there's a serious side to collecting teddy bears. What do your friends think about you collecting bears? <laughs> they don't mind because it's collecting. That's great. Damien from the Omen collects teddy bears. <laughs> what a creep this kid is. <laughs> no eyebrows. Yeah. He has the same hair that Stump Brain wants. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just putting charcoal. And Bleach on top of his stupid head. <laughs> this looks like he rubbed his head on a balloon. <laughs> he probably he probably grew into a plushy lover. This kid. Oh, he's a creep. He probably dresses he's... as a teddy bear now and has. has... <laughs> he got that bald transvestite face. Yeah. We... <laughs> <laughs> he has hair like the Illinois governor. This kid's a creep. <laughs> It's collecting, it's not as if I play with them, and they know I'm not the kind of kid who would really play with them. Look at this fairy, so soft and cute. Oh, uh, you see this? She's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. Look at that. Oh, God. Oh, RJ. I've been looking all over for you. We gotta go down to the Bears Only Cafe and talk business. Listen, you know that Bears Necessity Contest? We've got problems. So listen, we'll go down, we'll talk business, and hey, everything will be okay. I love this guy. Well, as Graham Abbey says, if the bear fits, wear it. You know what? I should have hung in there, Jimmy. That is no better than the early stuff I was doing that I put up online recently. What year is that? 84. 1984, Keanu Reeves. We'll put the uh, the the video up on onaradio.com. Oh, my Oof. God. He's a handsome dude, though. Jesus. Cool, Keanu. Oh. Stupid Keanu, but, you know. He's half something, half something else. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? <laughs> half awful, half yeah. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be half and half, and then you're like a supermodel. That's how it works. Half and half. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, Spiro says it. Old uh, Keanu sounds like the old open page. Absolutely. He probably has and, a lot of American Indian. Uh, and Chow Young Fat was good in Pirates of the Caribbean, so I'm just saying. Oh, who and cares? Of, but, but he played, he played um, a Chinese guy. Like he played, a, uh, you know, he played what he's doing. <coughs> Chow Young Fat belongs in China with John Wu in China doing what they do without the American rating system ripping the, the, the bag off the balls of them. Because there's no way John Wu is going to do a great John Wu film. In hard this hard target with, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, John Claude Van Damme. That was a good movie. I didn't see that. That was a John Wu film. I saw Face Off. Face Off was a great movie. Ah, throw my coffee in your face. You didn't like Face Off? How can you? It was pretty good. Oh, that stunk with the awful touch. The Travolta did. The, the creepiest move ever. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever he would leave his wife, he would take his fingers and brush them over the middle of her face. And that was the move he would give her. Like, that was supposed to be the affectionate couples thing they did. <laughs> And then when Nicolas Cage was in the body, I'm not Castor Troll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, this could be very dangerous for me to say. Who, by the way, could be in the, in the top all-time worst actor. Nicolas Cage, he is a bum. Oh, 
He's a bum. He was good in Valley Girl with that performance. Uh, he, or, or Arizona, raising Arizona. Why is that guy in tears? Why is he? Because he's royalty. He's like half royalty. He takes me out of every movie he's in. He is just every effing movie. He's terrible. Ghost Rider was just shocking. That fingers. Uh, Wait a minute, the face. Are you making me turn on Facebook? <laughs> that was the it big was a move. Good movie, though. It was a good movie. <laughs> they had to say, how could they connect? How could they make Travolta have such a bond with his wife that she would have the moment where she knew it was him with a new face? And that irritating thing he did. Every, Mac, picture any girlfriend you're dating. <laughs> picture if your move was to go goodbye and then take your fingers and brush them over the center of her face. She would hate that. <laughs> Enemy contact! Movie stunk. Bunch of doves. <laughs> it's horrendous. I gotta go see the movie. I gotta see it now. It was terrible. I know we gotta take a break. Their uh, lack of hair, but give us a minute here. I think that movie did stink. I'm sorry. Holy fuck! It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. There's a little brush across the face. It's Troy! Oh, it was horrendous. That's awful, mean. <laughs> oh, they're, they're going around the column looking at each other. Oh, boo. <laughs> that was terrible. Jesus Christ. Bro, how are we losing, <laughs> yo? It was awful, Dubs. Oh, it's so shocking. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry. I take it back. I forgot about the dumbs. <laughs> oh, that was horrendous. Oh, John Travolta and his tour divorce when he played yeah, Cat Detroit. The mean Cat Detroit yeah. and nice him, and they just reversed him. And oh. they both thought they was amazing. And those those dumb method actors, they probably sat there, like, sucking each other's vibe. Uh, <laughs> just terrible. Nicholas Cage probably put on Travolta's awful wig. <laughs> probably giving a Hummer to a guy in a 727. <laughs> <laughs> oh, face off! Oh, my God! Face off! Oh, my God! 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 Oh, Annoying finger brush. Just also, the state of art prison oh. with the magnetic boots. Oh, <laughs> we gotta step aside. Out of here, nigga. I got behind the corner. What else you got? You got terrible with Nicholas. Uh, Yo, we losing by two. Man, come on. Man, that, uh, wow. Made me laugh really hard the first time I heard it. Look at that. Nicholas Cage and his stupid royalty. Or wow. well, how about in, in Tin Man or whatever? What was it called where he played? Where he got he played? Wow. Movie, he added Tourette's. Try to give his character depth, and it had no bearing on the film whatsoever. <laughs> Matchbook man, matchstick man. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He tries to add Tourette's, and people are like, wow, this guy really goes another <laughs> level. <laughs> he should be shot. Wow, he's got some range. Oh, you see from mine. Uh -huh. Oh, Face Off, it stinks. You see a lot of I'm dumb sorry. movies. I'm so sorry, dude. I like Face Off. It's annoying. It made it stink. It just stinks. It took him two minutes. Oh, my God. We'll continue. Also, speaking of bad actors, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. A little story about what he's doing now. Oh, hopefully, have his lip operated on. We don't need you. He's remaking Kill Bill, Gun, Twinkle Twinkle, Killer Kane. Tell Mike Hammerface to shut up and retire. You won't. We really gonna lose y'all. There's some shit. We were laughing through the break, man, because he's apologizing to Jimmy over Face Off. It took, it took Jimmy two minutes to, to turn you on a movie you thought you loved. I, 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 I knew it was bad, but the things you were picking up on were, were things I was ignoring because I was just watching it. I, I don't know why I thought it was good, but that's why it took so fast. You picked out the things that I was hiding inside. Yeah, and it, oh, you fuckers died. Dumb. That movie stinks, and I'm anti-face off that quick. <laughs> people, people are like, "Wow, what a hell of a heel turn Dude, I, you made with face off today." It just make, I, I can't play with y'all no more. This is this some, this some trash. It was a blue ass match. We should all this. That's why immediately he wins. He broke down why it stunk, and I agree. What do you say? It starts with the name of the movie. The name of the movie's face off, and it's about faces coming off. <laughs> it's about faces coming off. It stinks! <laughs> One dude had 36 points. It's a heinous movie. Face off. And we just saw the clip what? where Travolta comes and hugs his wife. 
and uh, the daughter runs in, and they look at each other lovingly, and he does that that awful. It's like a blind. It's like David Patterson says hello to somebody. He just puts his hand. <laughs> he just brushes his dumb hand. What happened over to my guy, Pop Smokey? Little, Quit. Rips a little when his finger brushes. No, no wait, fucking wait, wonder. Wait, wait, wait. See, I remember that he squeezed it like he like he would hold it and pull the face like as he's like he's pretending to pull the face off. He he takes his hand and strokes down the entire face. It with his open fingers across each region of the face, down over the mouth, over the lips. It stinks. That's not even acceptable if he QRL'd right before he did it. <laughs> his dirty hands. It just I can't believe Norton and this I have no comeback for how bad that movie is. Well, we I, I'm right with you. And uh, let's stay with Nicolas Cage. Danny found something that's really funny, Danny. You guys been making fun of Face Off for a while, you and Travis? Uh, yeah, me too. Every dude. Since, <laughs> since, since we've all known each other as a group. Nigga, as soon as you die, I'm taking that shit. That. Especially, especially I like the green uh, uh, that green ass That shit cold. is talking to his crew. Yeah, he's the Nicolas Cage I'm taking that now, shit, but bro. He's talking to his crew. He's talking about what happened. I appreciate you they bringing that. His face and he makes this gesture <laughs> like he's taking the face off, like Patrice had mentioned. Oh, like this big dramatic pose. He took his face off. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, and he's walking around with the with the lower uh, derm. What's that? What's the second layer of skin? Oh yeah, I, just, I was just watching that on YouTube. Yeah, right. And he's just walking around. He's doing acting with the with the muscle yeah. tissue. He's, he's smoking a cigarette. He's just the muscle tissue. He's smoking muscle a cigarette. tissue and a cigarette. Just walking around, angry that he has no face with his magnetic boots. And then he, when he didn't come in, and they have completely different bodies, but since they have the same faces. Hey, you think it's him? Oh yeah, I'm the Walter who's pudgy, and Nicholas Cage who see who works out every day. You know what? I got his face. Let me put Opie's face on my face. I'm gonna walk around it now. Put his face off now. I got Opie's face. This is the same person I loved the movie 15 minutes ago. It's stupid. I will never be your friend. Let me tell you something. You'll take a second to like breathe. No, think about it. If if someone comes up with a better reason. Like if I'm going, hey, yeah, I'm friends with Obi, and you go, why? Because I'm here's why I'm not. Don't and do somebody it to yourself. He breaks down, and I go, wow. I was thinking I shouldn't be friends with him for those reasons, but you didn't. You said it. You didn't even touch it. You didn't even have a, a counter argument to, you to know Norton's uh, observations about the movie. Because he picked out the things <laughs> that were dumb, and the things that are good about it are dumb. Yeah. Like everything is dumb about the movie. Now I can go F him. So yeah, I mean, he picked out the words of the dumbest. Yeah. With the hand and the dubs. The hand wrote it for me. And the bullets. You can see the bullets and somebody's moving and yeah, doing a video game thing. Oh yeah. god. Hey, yeah. Let's go to Danny. So you got a clip of Nicolas Cage? Yeah, this is a clip from the Wicker Man. Oh. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I never saw the whole clip, but uh, I was I was showing this this piece yeah. of audio. Yeah. And I immediately do it to yourself. It could possibly be one of the funny things. The mic just ends with the ice cubes work. It's not so no. useful. What's happening in the clip? What the ice cubes work? To be perfectly honest, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure, but, but but something is attacking Nicolas Cage. So let's just put it that way. God, he's being attacked by something. Oh, I want to put one of the Coppolas. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Is, is, it the, is it the scene we actually find out? Like I said, I'm not sure because okay. I haven't seen it. All right. But just give, give it a let's listen. Let's take a listen. You got to put that in my room right now. We're gonna make that a big one, dude. If you gotta go from the yeah, was a much better game. He finds out that there's a a cult. There's some kind of weird cult. The moment he finds that out. To the moment he's burning to death yeah. is the worst. It's excruciating. Let's go to Santi <laughs> Santiago from uh, Santiago, probably in Denver. Yeah. Santiago. Yes. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Hey. Uh, I, I watched that movie when I was 16 in the Take theater. Take a second, little breeze. I tried to tell my girlfriend about the uh, mm -hmm. the brush move with the fingers, but my favorite part <clears> is when uh, John Travolta. They're switching over to Nicholas Cage and they put this voice box in him and they go, repeat after me, peach, I can eat a peach for hours. And it's John Travolta's voice and all of a sudden it gives this little, and it turns into Nicholas Cage, peach, I can eat a peach for hours. <laughs> well, I bet you that Travolta, 
Travolta probably couldn't say I could eat it. You feel like I did better than him, but uh, I died one time. I could chew a ball for months. I'm enjoying you. No, repeat it to me. I could eat a beef for now. No, 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 no. I could chew a ball for I shouldn't have joined you though, because you had like Dad, were you four onions? fucking kids. Oh no, Daddy's bag was itchy. <laughs> <laughs> it, so, I, I'm telling you, I can't. I have no retort. Well, he jumped out. I, I just um. liked it, and if anybody, there's some movies you go, I liked it, but if somebody can give you a good example of why it's bad, yeah, I'll turn on that cool. movie I in a minute. We were watching a movie, and then I came back downstairs to load some stuff up, and I decided I. Don't know. Pulp Fiction just loaded up and pop that on. So I pop it on. I don't even think I made it through the first scene. I was just out. I woke up to... And they're walking out of the diner. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right. They're tucking, the, they're tucking the guns down their pants. Walking out of the diner. Credit for all. I slept through Pulp Fiction in a movie that, with the sound like on eight. I couldn't sleep. And... Don't, don't ask me why I own it, but I put it in orbit. <laughs> the DVD. Right. Well, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't sleep for so long. It started over again, and I was like, "Did I really just lay here through a lap and a half of the <laughs> orbit, Wait, just just trying to get to sleep?" Oh, and I couldn't. Couldn't. Every I just kept rolling over and seeing Eddie Murphy as a different, you know, in a different foam rubber Eddie suit. Eddie Murphy. And Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Murphy. And Eddie Murphy. It's starring Eddie Murphy. I bought it at Blockbuster for like five bucks. That's what you do, you just laugh. I was like, how am I kind of funny? You no, know, you're, uh, you're, you're pretty right there on that one. There is just yeah. nothing. Eddie Murphy stopped well, making funny movies. Well, huh? He stopped. Me and Danny were just talking about down, that. Like, right. I think Coming okay. to America, once that was like his last funny movie, he's still funny. Yes. Yeah. That's the thing. He, his movie, some of his movies went up, but he's still doing it. What's he doing, Dude, though? He had he got caught up in uh, family. Uh -huh. For some reason, the whole family's money. He he went from Somebody adult just didn't know that kid, he got yeah. to doing raunchy adult things. Right. As an adult, he was doing, he was doing things he like... Uh, vote? Nash, 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 and uh, Beverly Hills Cop 3, and, and uh, what's the one, the, the, he's doing, Dr. he's doing what Rock was messing with. The Rock is doing what he's doing. Family stuff. Too much, mm -hmm. too much. Rock should be some type of big Anybody time else? villain, man. So that's what uh, happened to Vin Diesel when he made that yeah. stupid movie. Yeah. Well, I should have done yeah. more of them. Yes. What was the Dr. Louis Vin Diesel? I loved it until then. Yeah, I don't know. No, sir. You won't have any of that. Pitch Black was a great yes, movie, man. And, and, and the Chronicles of Riddick. That yeah. was a good one, too. Just kind of hardcore. Dude. Right. Dark as they go, uh, uh, heavy as yeah. they go, which is uh, what um, Little Kim face. What's the guy that's got to come back? Uh, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. Yeah, yeah with the wood. <laughs> 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 Is gonna be, he should just play his heavies, man. Yeah, that's it. And he can't even play like like Vin Diesel trying to be the good guy hero yeah. thing doesn't work. Contact like, you know, Triple X. That, that, that's what's going on with Eddie Murphy. That's what's going on with Eddie Murphy is that he, at some point uh -huh. he got caught up into uh, family friendly, which is where all the money is. Yeah, I guess. I guess. But when you see people yeah, like uh, Ice Cube doing that, uh, what is he doing that? Movie where are you, are you there you gotta yet? make me mad. Are you home yet? Are you there yet? When they show like, him falling now. backwards off a ladder, it's game over. To fix the yeah. Yeah. Game over, man. Game over. Over. <laughs> I think that uh, I was like, I think back when I was no, 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 I was, no, no. I was such a big rap fan, and Ice Cube scared me. He was scared. I was afraid of him. He I was like, afraid of him because of the, I, he just was. He just seemed like the realest dude ever. Yeah. And now yes, he's sir. got his minivans around. Yeah. So, you know, he can get to play football. Whoa, 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 he's one more hard, tough guy. He can get to play football in a movie. He has to swear to God. He moved ahead, so I guess we won't understand what the real understanding is. I don't know. That goes with, like, your, 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 I don't know. Your heart of kids. You said he was going to be a head of yeah, but also Clint Eastwood can do anything he wants, so you can do anything you want. Anything you want, you can do anything you want, you want but not really. Clint Eastwood is the guy that can do anything he wants to do. Eddie Murphy still is, you know, he's still at, like, the only 
only dude that can do anything he wants now is, is Will Smith. Like, he's the only person I know that can do anything he wants in a movie where he can play good guy, bad guy, dead, dead, dark. But I, do you think he could, you think he could really go out on a limb? I mean, I think he's got a box office responsibility to fulfill here. I don't think he could go and turn around and start well, doing Well, he made sugar. What is this thing? It's chocolate? What, what is it? This last thing. Seven pounds? Seven pounds. That was like a... Sugar a, chocolate? A, whatever. I didn't want to see it. It might as well be called sugar chocolate. You're a true diabetic would say that. The movie is called Seven Pounds. <laughs> what y'all think going on? I didn't... I have no... I had no... Um... I, I just had there's nothing in me to, to see that movie. But yeah. The bomb was a bomb, wasn't it? Because it was it was a nothing. Uh -oh. movie. What was it about? I just uh, I kept seeing. I Ghost overdid Sport. myself I that time. Guy feels guilty about something, and gives up his organs. It's but well, see, Will Smith. Bro, right. it was 50 yeah. 15. We only had four players. Bro. What, what would y'all do? He's at the point where Tom oh, Cruise bigger. was. He's bigger than the movies. Yeah, let me act the asshole. Yeah. He's he's just like he. It's like. Will Smith, he can then the movie. movie. The movie is, is, is doesn't even matter. But, he can sell a movie. But Eddie Murphy was at that point sure. in his career years ago, and he somehow I would say it went <laughs> over at Beverly Hills Cop Three was when that was a wrap. Well, because he made Beverly Hills Cop Three, the guy should have. Like, no, but he made he made Nutty Professor after that. Nutty Professor was all right, man. Think, yeah, it was good, but his, he it was in the wrong direction. I think what happened is, I think Boomerang. Oh. It, should have been the way he went. He was a becoming yeah, well, I'm from cool let my pistol peak. That's dude. what I'm gonna do. It was younger Martin Lawrence was coming up. Body and, uh, slam. David was coming up. It was younger, hungrier, funny guys. Body he was slam. more of a of an older smooth body funny. Slam. And he should have went into that body uh, slam. Right. Boomerang yeah. wasn't a failure. Mill and Boomerang. See Boomerang, Eddie Murphy should be having ding, 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 what uh Tyler Perry has. Ooh. Tyler Perry is winning, but he's he not blockbuster. Oh, you got million. That's last time you don't get to do that shit, so you better be good. That's that's, that's a awesome. blockbuster to just have one group love you enough to make you the box office. Tyler Perry's movies stink. I can't so bad. I mean, they stick. Bobby Kelly's the funniest things. We were talking about Eddie Murphy, and he goes, Tyler Perry's just trying. Eddie head. Murphy goes, he's not even trying. He just puts that wig on. Can't see me. Like no, but that's where Eddie Murphy should have went. Eddie Murphy should have went strictly black. That's my whole team. But he had to go When we changed white say. dollars, too, it did. If you make a million black dollars, that's a lot of money, but people try to chase a million white dollars. Like, it's just... Y'all thought we were playing with you, didn't you? I think it's great yeah, you that thought that he's catering to what you're saying he's catering to, but why do the movies have to stink so bad? They stink, dude. They're bad movies, Patrice. They're why are you... No, I'm asking. You, no, you're not. No flip up. I'm not. You was talking to convince me. No. I didn't argue with you. I'm, I'm, I'm saying why. I'm not a fan of my knees, this, and they're fucking terrible. Don't do it to yourself. Sorry, sorry. He is. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not into that. I'm just not into that. They're terrible. Uh, you know, Eddie Murphy, wow, lifetime gross is three and a half billion dollars. And Eddie's still funny. The donkey and Shrek. He's one of the funniest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where you at? I know he wants some. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's just whoa, a funny whoa. guy. Whoa, whoa. You can't F up things. Like, even, he was like putting another talking, 48 hours. Like, he was whoa. Let me contact. And having no more screen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It doesn't matter what you do with a cartoon voice. You could still be like, he still has street cred. Does he? He still has street cred. Ice Cube doesn't. Because if you're a fan of Ice Cube, Ooh, he worked for our justice on my yeah. well, time like to bring his feet up. Dude. What you do now, you feel like he's mm. 40 something years old. This yeah. nigga with this rocket launch getting on my goddamn nerves. Yeah, but he totally went like white man. Like, he went for white money. He went for the guys. Ba 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 da 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 <laughs> wow. Chat and the good boy. They threw him in the room. Don't be close, baby. This ain't that. You know what? That ain't this. I'm bitch, I'm strapped. Ah. It just wasn't like a niche where he goes, this money and these people, if I stay loyal to these you know people what? forever. It's time. And, uh, it's time. It's, it's like Quentin Tarantino. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's, he's Vader staying, time. Uh, this this oh, kind please. of boost he do. Yeah, yeah. He never really left. Mm. And try to be a this. Please, like, please, uh, 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 fuck a lunch man. 
Mm. This guy. Indie guy stuff. And he's, and he's, and he's, and he's keeps Guess staying what? that guy. Who else has gone for black dollars, though? You're saying, like, uh, our, the, the Medea movie did that. Who else? Uh, Ice Cube did at first. Well, Friday. Oh, yeah. Boys yeah. Hood. Yeah. I mean, that was just, that was a good play. play. No, it sir. Is, no, <laughs> sir. They got millions from those no, sir. Movies, but it was like. When I'm saying white dollars, I don't mean white people dollars. I mean family, like, like. I mean, the they white that, that's, It's not. It's a. It's not just a color. It's, a, it's an idea. Yeah, and, and, and it's like, the just to make white people comfortable. It's like some of those movies. There's some white people who are not white who want to see gangster stuff. Who want to see these things. But it's it's everybody. The look. Rock just decided. To, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make a game plan. Okay, uh, he went from promising in terms of uh, his first movie thing, which where he was playing this warrior. But it's yeah, Scorpion King. when he was in the Mummy. That the that's Scorpion it. King that he did from when he was in the Mummy mm -hmm. to the to the one we actually made the Scorpion King was the well, difference between uh, Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. Mm -hmm. If you watch Conan the Barbarian, it was gangster. That was a bad. Movie dark, evil. Hey, we had a squad movie. that time. Let's do it again, y'all. The, the destroyer was great. Ah, uh, come on, y'all quit. <laughs> and 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 uh, Will Chamberlain. Oh, fuck and a lot of punks. <laughs> and a lot of love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, right, and I'm yeah. sure a duck was in it too. <laughs> a know, duck has to be in it with me. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Everybody put in work. Y'all want to break the team? Up. In a movie. But you know, you know what, you know what, Rock did. What Ice Cube did that exemplifies. <laughs> How cheesy he's become, unfortunately. Uh, with, with the Rock's not doing it, at least the Rock at least went a hundred percent in that direction. He's like, I'm going to be the kids guy. Ice Cube puts out, you, are we head. there yet? And then still puts but out I a record talking about I'm gangster, I'm hard, and, and, it, and, it, and it's the two things well, together the that clash so hard. There's no, come on, man. Some really? people, I don't, I've My never known Ice Cube with your friends when he was on the show. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, I am the character. He created the character oh, Bobby, rapper yeah. of Ludacris and, and, the, and the actor Chris Atkins, whatever his name is, and the rapper yeah. Ludacris, Chris Bridges, and then the Anybody rapper. Else? It's like they create these. And and this is, what, yeah. this is oh, the thing, yeah. Andrew, the, the longer you're in the show business. And, and again, the Mr. T thing. They said that Mr. T didn't continue because he wouldn't play that game. He made a, a zillion dollars off the back. Damn, he died, died. Just yeah. like, Ugh, Ugh. Seen that shit? And, and he had he one died, guy died. hook him up, uh, Sylvester Simone. Yes, he yeah, had him come out. The man make you club a lane. He, he made a billion dollars off of himself. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, and then after he went down, and he had to kind of depend on Hollywood to keep him afloat. Mm -hmm. They go, oh no, 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 no! You didn't kiss our ass at that meeting. You didn't eat sushi mm -hmm. with us. Yeah, no, 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 no. You come got on. to go. You I know, just I know. The kids, quick, they so when I say black dollars, I don't, I don't mean black dollars, Jimmy. I mean just rated mm -hmm. R to NC right. seventeen dollars. I'll take that. I'll take NC seventeen. Why, why do I have to always have PG-13 in my life? When, when I know, well, they do that it's for the money. For the money! When you talk about Ice Cube, though, uh, it, it, it is true. He, he tries Get to portray himself as still being hard. And the thing is, like, uh, yeah. you talk about Ludacris saying uh, he, he invented this character. I never thought Ice Cube was putting on a character. Hey, in, I died. That was like, no. you were scared at the thought Who got a helicopter of going to South Central and listening to that. Yeah. When, I, when I first started straight out of Compton, oh I, my God. I really, I knew, I remember where I was. I remember, yeah. Was, yeah. I said, who are the, I thought these were people from another planet. <laughs> yeah. I was just lost. I said, you're straight out of where? Yeah, right. Yeah. These guys are horrifying. Patrice, it was the scariest crap I ever heard. Let's say hi to Ken, the movie guy. Ken, how are you, sir? You guys, uh, the well, you know, oh. Mitchell Watchmen is a huge flop. Massive flop. Oh, they're a big drop off. Uh, yeah, they got the numbers, huh? Uh, down about 65%. Down about 65%. And, uh, what's worse is that still, like I said last time I was on, that has to get split three ways. And one of the ways well, didn't put any money in there. So. Only All two right. studios are recouping well, any money from it. So, 
cut, uh, Real insane, you know, you yeah. Cut that to six, you put that in half. Move that off. Does it suck? Yeah, what's the problem with the movie? Is it a good movie? I like it a lot. You haven't seen it yet, Patrice? That says a lot, because Patrice sees pretty Y'all much Y'all got any ideas that that for the movie? It's just not moving me to see it, man. Yeah. It's, not, no. it's just not, I just, it's not making oh, me go see it. Yeah, yeah. It's something about it. It's really long. Yeah, if it's not. And everyone's that biggest one. complaint is it's really long. But on top of that, it's not Angelo, Batman, it's okay. not Iron Man. You don't know who these people mm. are, you know? Yeah, it's not yeah, like it. You know, the superheroes. That's the same thing that happened to the spirit. The spirit. Who?